Thank you very, very much. Thank you for inviting me here. And uh, I must say uh, good morning to Mr. Ambassador, Mr. Director, and everybody. I also want to congratulate for the idea to settle this symposium about bamboo in Europe and in Spain. I'm French, and, but now I work in Portugal. Briefly, I will tell you, uh, a few years after finishing my agronomy studies, I started to work in bamboo. And that's now since uh, more than 40 or nearly 45 years, and I'm still working in bamboo. I coach the virus. In a way, I can say that I mar it's by marrying that I married the bamboo. I must explain. My wife's mother had uh, uh, the oldest and the richest uh, bamboo collection in her own garden in south of France. And I start to take uh, in charge of uh, this collection. And I first tried to reconstitute and to increase, enlarge this collection. For that, I had to travel quite a lot mostly in Asia, and trying to bring back different species of bamboo. And I soon became passionate, and I caught this virus, and uh, I was surprised seeing all the different use of the bamboo in the, those countries. Uh, I think you know that most than half of the population of the world is really tight connect with the bamboo and using the bamboo. And us in Europe, we were not so, and we still are not so much connected. So I decided to produce, because I'm uh, agriculture, to produce bamboo. And I started this nursery, uh, potting the bamboo in plastic pot. And at the beginning, <laughs> I remember we had at home a young uh, Japanese student Harutsugu Kashiragi, and he was interested by plant in botany. After being uh, some months in Kew Garden in England, he went in, I can say, in our family. And uh, I thought it was, uh, because he was Japanese, he was uh, knowing very much the bamboos. So quite every evening after work, I was asking him many questions. I want the bamboo, and, and he was always saying, yes, I must think of that, and I will tell you tomorrow. Okay, but after <laughs> many years, he told me that he was knowing nothing about bamboo. But the Japanese, they never say they don't know. They have to give you the answer. And during the night, he told me he was looking in his book. There was no internet at that period. And he was giving me the answer. But, 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 but he get really interested in our place by the bamboo. And now he's the director of the most important uh, bamboo collection in Japan. In the, uh, in the Fuji Bamboo Garden near the Mount Fuji. So, um, I start this uh, nursery, and uh, at that period uh, we were uh, experimenting the micropropagation, that is to grow um, bamboo, uh, how can I say, uh, small, starting from small cells, it's uh, in vitro culture, but the result was uh, a bit uh, not so good, uh, not so good. I must say the way we were growing bamboo for selling that for the market, uh, it was different because the bamboo coming from in vitro grows very fast, very slow, like a seed. That means if you buy a bamboo coming from in vitro culture, it will take maybe five years to reach uh, one meter and a half. And the traditional way, the same size plant will reach in one year. So that is the difference. So we stop the in vitro uh, culture. And uh, still now, we are uh, producing bamboo on the traditional way. That is by cutting, or by rhizome cutting, or by divising the clump. 
And uh, because the collection was enlarging and some of the bamboo were tropical, and in that garden south of France, which is a region that called the Cévennes, it can be very hot in summer, but very cold in winter. Sometimes I remember we have had uh, minus 16, minus 18. So all the tropical bamboo had to be protected in a shelter, in a greenhouse, and we have to cut the top. It's why I decided 30 years ago to buy a land in a better climate for the tropical, and I chose Portugal, uh, south of Portugal, in the wonderful region of Alentejo, and uh, I start to grow there tropical bamboo, but also uh, temperate because there the rhizome grows very much uh, long than in uh, south of France and it's why now quite 90% of the production of bamboo we have are coming from Portugal. And about the use of bamboo, I must uh, Oh, oh long <laughs> because 45 years of bamboo work <laughs> you know it <laughs> so just just uh, an example an anecdote uh, to show that we really need to know how to use the bamboo it's a few years ago in uh, odimira it's a place where i am in uh, south in uh, portugal they receive a delegation of uh, uh, environment and they were taking care, and they told me, ah, Mr. Cruze, you did something wrong. What did I? By planting bamboo near the river, because there is a small river crossing the, the land, the property, and you are not allowed to plant bamboo so near the, ra the river. Why? Ah, because it's dangerous. They can spread all, all uh, away and uh, then it's a vegetal pest. I said, no, no, you cannot say that. Yes, sure it is. And it showed me at least that the bamboo were not allowed to be planted near the river. Ah, but I had to explain that in China, they plant bamboo to, for the, uh, it will be too long to explain, but at least it says, okay. So we, fa we close the eyes, we say nothing, but uh, never do that again. But I think I succeeded to convince them because after a few months or years, the Hodemira uh, 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 Camara, the Camara, ordered many bamboo to plant around near the river, passing through the village. So I was very happy <laughs> to have been so persuasive. But uh, that is to show that we really have to learn the bamboo, to plant the right bamboo in the right place, because one, more than 1,500 bamboo existing, we have in Portugal more than 200. That means you, we first need to know which bamboo, for which purpose, and which soil, and which climate, we have to use. And it's why also in Bamboo Park, the name of the company I manage in Portugal, we are starting to build a construction to receive a person for uh, uh, training courses around bamboo, of course, but also about our agriculture of bamboo and also about construction. So you are welcome to visit if you are interested. Uh, it's uh, not so far. 50 minutes planes. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much.